Good morning, guys. Everything new under the sun. We're going to take a look at an article about uh, the ice age and the coming ice age. And I think if the uh, you know should the Lord tarry, I think an ice age will come based on the solar minimum that we're experiencing right now. And I was looking um, uh, for uh, detail in the Bible uh, and to see if the Bible ever uh, you know comments on an ice age or suggests that one's coming. Now you don't we don't see it in uh, end time Bible prophecy, but that doesn't mean it couldn't. Uh, be the cause of some of the famine uh, around the earth, some of the other um, events that are, are are coming upon the earth. We know that the Lord will destroy the earth uh, with fire the second time. The first time he did it with a flood, which uh, caused the Ice Age. Um, but an Ice Age could be coming, and that could be playing into uh, God's particular plan um, uh, as, a, as a punishment for the earth um, to kill a lot of the crops to um, add to the famine. This particular... Uh, page that I'm on. Uh, put this down here. This is from OpenTheWord.com, and it's an article about uh, the book of Job and the Ice Age. And in Job, it says, Out of the south comes a storm, and out of the north comes the cold. From the breath of God, ice is made, and the expanse of water is frozen. And, and so that last sentence there, um, they're suggesting, is uh, could be a reference to the Ice Age, or, or the area of the world that is uh, completely covered with ice. The expanse is translated in another version, broad waters, refers to massive bodies of ice. Job was describing a sea of ice, considering Job lived in the Middle East. Where did he get this idea? And so that could be um, speaking about an, an ice age, uh, because you'd, you'd have to think uh, people just after the flood uh, would have uh, had some experience with the ice age, wouldn't they? Um, maybe they wouldn't have, because the, uh, um, the ice sheets didn't go down as far as uh, you know the Middle East, where... Um, the Bible where these characters were uh, taking place, but they uh, would have had experience, you know, if they traveled anywhere uh, much north of it, I would, I would expect. I'll have to take a look at the maps uh, for uh, where the ice sheets would have uh, went down to. But it brings up an interesting question about, is there uh, an ice age in the last days? And this is an article from iceagenow.info. Um, this is uh, November 12, 2018. Lack of sunspots to bring cold... Uh, record cold warns NASA scientists it could happen in in a in a matter of months, says Martin uh, Linzak uh, of NASA's Langley Research. The sun is entering a uh, entering one of the deepest solar minima. Wrote Dr. Tony Phillips just six weeks ago on uh, September 27th. Sunspot spots have been absent for most of 2018, and if you follow BP Earthwatch, you know that they he's. You know, he's got no videos on sunspots. There's just nothing happening, uh, you know, in, in significantly on the sun right now. And it's a massive solar minimum year, which could lead up to a massive solar maximum year, which very well could play into um, uh, the wrath that uh, God brings upon the earth and, and be part of that. But right now it's massive solar minimum. Sunspots have been absent for most of 2018, and the Earth's upper atmosphere is responding, Phillips uh, of SpaceWeather.com says. Data from NASA's timed satellite shows that the thermosphere is cooling and shrinking, literally decreasing radius of the atmosphere. That's interesting. Um, the thermosphere climate index tells how much the heat nitric oxide molecules are dumping into space during the solar maximum. TCI is high, meaning hot. During solar minimum, it is cold, meaning cold. Right now, it is very low indeed, 10 times smaller than we see during more active phases of the solar cycle. And so he says, if the trend continues, it could soon set a space-age record for cold. We're not quite there yet, but it could happen in a matter of months. So could we see an ice age in a matter of months, uh, uh, an increasing, increasing coldness and, uh, and uh, precipitation in the form of snow and ice? which then builds up over time, which is exactly what happened after the flood, although it happened in a much compressed time schedule because there was massive amounts of rain falling and uh, upheaval of, of the atmosphere and the world. But it's an interesting thing to look at. How does this play into end-time bioprocessy? Does it play in? Does an ice age come and uh, affect end-time bioprocessy? We won't know uh, until it happens, but uh, these uh, you know, people apparently in the know are uh, calling for something like this to occur. So interesting, I'll put the link in the description, you can check it out. Um, something to keep an eye on. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.